and we know the projected outcome in each of those five races. Our own Megan Thompson joining us now with a look at the breakdown of the rest of your ballot and what it means for us. Good morning, Kaylee. Let's start with propositions 125 and 126. Both of these projected to pass this morning. 125 means our state can now make changes to the pensions of correctional officers and elected officials, like all the new folks taking office this morning or in the coming days. This is an amendment to the Arizona Constitution allowing certain benefits of retirement plans to be adjusted instead of constantly keeping benefits increasing at 4%. With this passing, the system will look at the cost of living and the economy to set those benefits. However, those against the proposition had said those who signed up for the job in the past signed on with the promise of a specific pension plan. An estimate from the Public Safety Personnel Retirement System found that over the next two decades, it could save taxpayers more than 250 50 million dollars. Then there's Prop 126. It passed also despite plenty of opposition from big names like both candidates for governor in this midterm. This one launched by the Arizona Association of Realtors and it prohibits the legislature from taxing business services. Supporters say these types of taxes would hurt economic growth, but those against it argued this would hold back future legislators and governors who may need to make adjustments to the state's sales tax. Now there are still three other propositions to go over, including one vying for massive school voucher expansion where that one stands this morning coming up in our next half hour Kaylee thank you for simplifying that that can certainly be intimidating and a little overwhelming and made it easy to follow Megan we appreciate it